I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to insert images into your blog. So what you want to do is click on New Post, and let's just uh, type in any title here. And you want to navigate down to the main box here where you put all your content for the post. And what you want to do from here is right here where it says Upload Insert, right here. If you hover the mouse to the right of that, you could add an image, add a video, add audio, or add media. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to add an image. So I'm going to click on Add an Image. From this screen, it'll show you the three different ways you could add images. You could add images straight from your computer just by selecting the file. You could add images from a URL. So for example, let's say you have an image maybe on Flickr or something like that. You can find the URL of that image and put it in here along with the title, the caption, and the alignment. Or if you've previously uploaded images to your blog, they should be in your media library. We don't have anything in there right now. In this case, I'm going to do it straight from my computer. So I just click on From Computer and then Select Files. And I'm just going to navigate to a picture on my computer and select that. And there we go. It shows the picture that I've selected. And it's got a title for the picture. And, and I'm going to uh, put uh, a title in there. And then alternate text. If, it, if the uh, image doesn't come through on somebody's browser, it's good to have alternate text. I'm going to leave the caption and description blank, and the link URL is all set for me. Now, the main things you want to do once you've uploaded your picture like this is choose the alignment. Do you want no alignment? Do you want to align it left, center, or right? I want to align it left in my blog. And then depending on your picture, you may be able to choose some different sizes. This is a pretty small picture anyway, so I'm going to do full size. But if you have a large picture, you may want to do a medium size or a thumbnail, for example, so it fits better. Once I've done that, all I have to do is click Insert into Post. And you'll notice this is actually a moving picture, but it doesn't have to be. And you'll notice I've inserted it and it is aligned left. And now I can you know, type in my post as normal. Now, let's say I change my mind and I want to align it to the right. I can just click on that picture and click on this little Edit Image box that pops up. And it takes us to this screen. From this screen, we could actually lower the size of the picture. In fact, let's make it a little smaller. And this is where we can change the alignment. Let's change it to the right. And it gives us an example. And that's all there is to it. Then we just click Update. We have to make sure and click Update. Now it's on the right side. So that's how easy it is to add pictures. Again, you just click on Upload, Add an Image. Then you can either navigate to an image on your computer. You can put in a link from a URL to somewhere online where your image is. Or if you have an image already in the media library or the gallery, in this case we do now, you would just click on Show. And then you can choose how you want to align it and the size of picture and you click insert into post and that's all there is to it. And then you can just click on publish and that will automatically publish your post with that picture. Let's take a quick look. There it is. And now we have a picture. This is actually a animated picture but it, again it doesn't have to be. So that's how you add pictures to your WordPress blog. Now another way you could do it Let's say you have, you have some pictures you want to add that you know you're going to be using in the future. There is a Media tab right here. And if we click on Media, it shows the media that we currently have on our blog. And we have this picture we just uploaded, which we could edit, we could delete permanently or view. But we could also add new. So if you want to actually, ahead of time, upload some pictures for you to, to use on your blog later, you could go to your media library and click Add New. And from there, you can upload files from your computer 
so that next time you want to use those pictures, they're already going to be on your blog waiting for you. And again, that's just by clicking on the media and media library and adding new media. And that's also how you can see the existing pictures on your blog. And any videos or anything else that you uh, want to upload, you can also do that from the media library.